Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle and I'm here with the new Transformers Legacy Evolution Armada version of Optimus Prime. And yes, this is a very cool toy, but it had a previous version. So we are going to put it up against Armada Optimus Prime from the Armada series. Yes, we are going to compare it bit by bit with this guy. So this is a versus review and you get to decide which one is cooler. And of course, Sky is a big fan. So she's joining me for this. Let's do this. Be right back. All right, so it's a very nice looking box. You can see Armada Prime on there. You can see on the back, it's got the various modes and forms and I'd be able to pull it back a little bit more, but there's a cat in the way. Yeah, you. I know you're excited for this. So let's break this fucker open and see what we got inside. We've got a bunch of cardboard. And instructions. And a shitty piece of paper. All right, inside the cardboard. Let's see. Woo! We have this piece, which, you know, looks like something that's on him. We have the gun with these two pieces, which usually are his smokestacks, so interesting way of storing those. But it's kind of cool that they can attach to the gun, so I can see already some stuff for that. We have the trailer. There it is, the Optimus Prime Armada trailer. And the cab. There he is as a cab. It has been a while since I've done a review. Only thing I can say is it's been a real pain when I have cons like almost every weekend. I do have another channel which is Fandom Spotlight, and we do a lot of convention stuff over there. All right, so I'm gonna to refer to the instructions. Since it came in vehicle mode, we're gonna take a look at it in vehicle mode, and then we'll take, care of the, take a look at the other one in vehicle mode as well. So as I suspected, you remove these from the gun and attach them to the arms, making him have some smokestacks. And apparently to attach the trailer in his vehicle mode, you do need to do a little maneuvering. So there he is in his vehicle mode. He rolls pretty well. Even though it has very small wheels in the back by the treads. Attaching that piece allows you to actually put this post into the cab, attaching the trailer, and it can move back and forth. Now he does have this Autobot symbol on the top. That does not move. You can store his gun right here. I don't know, I think he'd get pulled over on the highway for that. So a very cool looking trailer. Now looking at the sides of it, I'm not sure if any of the ramps can open. Let's take a look. Apparently one neat thing is the trailer has these posts that come out. So when he is not towing it, it can stand, providing you keep the posts level. The cab itself can roll for a bit. I know it's hard to see behind a cab, but there it is but I'm not seeing anything else besides transforming it into the base. But before we do that, now this guy, I have him in his bot mode, in his super bot mode, super optimus mode. And I discovered that uh, the batteries have been left in there too long, so it doesn't work. So I am subbing in this version, which was the one that came with the yellow version of Overlord, Overload rather, and his trailer, which is right here. Now this one, you don't need to do anything wacky in order to hook it up. It actually already has a post. But as you can see, it looks very similar, other than the colors in this case. We'll talk about coloration and look at that guy a little bit later. It rolls a bit better because it's not in the seed line. And the main difference is here, the trailer and the bot itself and these things all have ports for minicons. Now, minicons were a big part of the whole Armada saga, but there doesn't seem to be any ports on the new ones. There he is. He is missing a little piece here because uh, it fell off in a box and I didn't find it. It's on this one, but this will be good enough for this versus review. He does have this button on top. I don't know what it does. So there is that one. But let's take a look at the robot mode and the base mode. The instructions show starting with the trailer. So let's go ahead and do that. 
And I will say it's big fucking ass instructions and a lot of steps just to get the base mode. So there's the base mode. I was looking at the instructions. The instructions kind of sucked. So I looked at the box and I think I got it right according to what's on the box. But I mean, honestly, I'm probably never going to be using this mode. It's just going to be either Super Optimus or in trailer mode, quite honestly. There he is. He's got the gun here. He's got shields. People can hide behind this and get can get blasted. It's got missiles here in the front. I mean, not too much to it. Little platform that someone can stand on back there. I'm not sure how often he's going to stand back there, but there it is. Now the robot mode for the cab. I'm going to look at the instructions because they've changed things a little bit. Now, one thing that the instruction shows right away is that you pull these things forward, but you don't want to pull them forward too far. These things in the front, you want to kind of slide them to the side. You got to wiggle them carefully or else they pop off and you got to put them back on again. There's a lot of this wiggling. There he is, Optimus Prime in robot mode. Looks very similar to his Armada incarnation. The instructions on this, I mean, there's all kinds of weird wiggling that they can't show very well. I mean, at some point Hasbro, you're just gonna have to have QR codes that we tap and then we scan and then it takes us to a video, shows us step-by-step step how to do it. But let's take a look at the robot mode. Um, I think I got it correct. The instructions again, hard to decipher, but he's got this uh, skirt that he's wearing. It's got flaps in the back and it's got side uh, things here, but let's see as far as posability on the legs, he can do a full Jean-Claude Van Damme, even though he's got a very big crotch, you know, I guess it's a prime thing. There are ankle rockers on these little feet. They can actually go like all the way down, but for ankle rockers, you don't want them quite that. You want them so that he can pose in a stable fashion with his legs spread. That didn't sound right. Shut up, Logan. Of course, he can kick forward and back. He can go off to the side. Now these wheels, when he's trying to do a sidekick, you can kind of maneuver them. I thought they'd lock in a place and I don't see a way to lock them in a place because uh, they go from this during the transformation to this, but uh, no way to lock them. So you can maneuver them if you need to while posing him in different things. The waist, does he twist at the waist? That's a very good question. It looks like he's trying, but I don't think he does. I think any twisting in there is because these become the arms of Super Optimus. So there's no twisting at the waist. The arms can go all the way around without a problem, bends at the elbow, can go forward, can uh, maneuver at the shoulder so he can lift up his arm a bit. There is a swivel. That's very good. His head does turn. So he's pretty poseable, except no waist twisting. So no twisting on the waist. All right, so there he is with his base. He can stand here. He can take this rather large gun that he uses as Super Optimus, and he can use it as regular Optimus, so. Say hello to my little friend. Now these arm guns do not seem to combine as the original ones did. And I'm gonna show you that in a moment. So let's put this one aside and hang out with this guy. All right, so this transformation is gonna be a little different because, well, we wanna make sure that this is in the on position. So the gimmick with the original Armada Prime was when you transform this guy, this would automatically transform, which is a reason why I, in putting together the base, I didn't exactly have a lot of uh, previous experience doing that because it does it by itself. And because it does it by itself, even if you have to do it manually, it's pretty friggin' easy. But all right, let's uh, see if we can get this to do its thing. Come on. I did it when I was preparing for this, of course. So while some people might miss the gimmicks, I have to say the gimmicks sometimes can be a pain in the ass. All right, let's see. I heard some engine work. There it goes, transforming automatically and making noises into the base. So let's go over this thing here and we'll talk about him in a moment too. And we have his gun. You also have a mini con, but we'll talk about that later. So this base just opened up automatically. You can put mini cons on it and move, maneuver them around. I think they do something somewhere. If I put spark plug here and push him forward, he makes noise. So 
Minicons were an interesting gimmick. And for a while, Minicons became like Pokemon. You had to catch them all. I still have tons, because in Japan they went all out and made more. So it makes noise and this lights up. It's got lots of little compartments, like there's a compartment here. You can put in Minicon and you can launch him. There is a compartment on the other side. You can put a Minicon in and that's pretty much it. You want to launch it, you have to like shake it out. He's got guns. So there's this gun here, which pops up. So you have weaponry over here. You have this claw thing here. I don't know what it does. It just is a claw thing. It may be a, a gun and someone could hold this and fire it back and forth. So this is attached to the leg and it swivels around. Oh, we can put these down. That'll help with the legs. You got mini con ports all over the place. You've got this platform. Now, normally I got to borrow this dude. There is this attachment port, which gives you on this level, a little extending gun. And it looks like there's a seat there though. It's a little small for any mini cons. You'll get it back. Don't worry. Okay. So the one that actually comes with this fell off, but this one matches well enough. So there it is with pop-up weapons, launchers. It's pretty cool. The gimmick though, I don't know. Plus you can mount the gun on it. Choo, 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 choo. This guy, as far as possibility, he can not really do a full Jean-Claude Van Damme. If he does a split, he's actually transforming. So his leg goes forward, bends at the knee, forward knee, doesn't really have a swivel. His arms can go all the way around. Bends at the elbow, does not have a swivel. The head turns, so that's nice. Now, one thing with these guys is you could pop off the smokestacks, combine them, and give them an extra gun. So in addition to this one, he's got a separate smaller pistol. Now, let's see here size-wise. The new one is slightly just like a hair shorter. The original about seven inches. The new one, about six and three quarters, almost seven eighths. So they're very similar in size. Now, one thing that the new one has that the other one doesn't is you can open up his chest and see the matrix of leadership. The old one, you can open it up and see it, but you can't remove it, I think. And these things have a tendency to pop the fuck off. Stay, you asshole. This one appears, can it be removed? Yes. You can take it out. It looks a lot like the original Matrix. It's got a gem in it. it. Looks very nice. So that is an improvement on this one, as along with some of the posability and such. Back views, you can see, look very similar in the back. Some of the detailing on this one may be because of it's a redeco. I think the original is much closer on the back to this. So it's a great homage to the original. But all right, let's get into super mode. So of course we have to take the base and combine it with the bot. And there's no shortcuts on the new one. So we gotta look at these fucking things. Oh, but before I do that, I do wanna mention you can take off the smokestacks and attach them to the gun. So that's kind of a neat extra thing. Say hello to my little friends. Oh, and this back cap apparently can be removed and stuck on his arm. So you can store the gun on his back. So this itsy bitsy little thing, I'm hoping it shows up in focus, which is a button on the back, which you press on this one. I don't remember it doing anything. You can remove it from the back and use it for gun storage. So that's kind of neat. All right, let's get into that super mode. All right, it was a bit of a pain in the ass, but uh, there he is, Super Optimus Prime. Super mode, whatever you want to call it. So the directions were eh, somewhat helpful, but uh, I think I got them right. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments if I got them wrong, but here he is in all his glory. Now, posability wise, can he do a full Jean-Claude Van Damme? He, well, his legs can, but his big old butt does not allow him to hit the ground, but he can do very good sidekicks. If you raise his crotch cover, you can kick out forward. A little stiff, but you can bend the knees. 
He's got swivels on his legs. He's got ankle rockers, so you can definitely play around with different poses. Unlike his smaller counterpart, he can swivel, he can twist at the waist. You do have to raise up his side plates here and the crotch protector to do it, but he does. Arm goes all the way around, swivels, he bends at the elbow. Basically, all the uh, articulation he had in the legs. The head turns. Now, there's no way to see the matrix in this form, but it's well protected at least. That's his back view. He's got some kibbly stuff. This kind of moves back and forth because it can interfere with the legs. But I, like I said, I think I got it right. It is hard to tell. Now, no Minicon ports, but overall, he's a very solid figure. And just as a little preview, he's only a little shorter than the original. The original being like almost 13 inches, this guy being like 11. So a little shorter. All right, so cool beans, but we still have to do the comparison. Let's get you into super mode. Now, again, for those who may not be familiar with the original, basically with the original, when you started transforming him into super mode, the trailer would actually also transform into super mode. It's been a while since I've done this, but come on, guy. Come on, you know you want to transform. So for some reason, it went back into trailer mode. Now to base mode, and now it's going into super mode. And it makes that mechanical thing. Once you have it in super mode, you want to attach these side plates to the legs to make it sturdy. I am just hoping with my maneuverings that it doesn't decide to transform back into a trailer or a base again. It's a neat gimmick, but I don't know that I would be all that thrilled with it because one, isn't the point of transformers to um, transform things? And electronics eventually, you know, might not always work. So there it is, the original Armada one in super robot mode. Well, this is a special edition. This is the regular one. And as you can see, very similar in form, but I do have to say that this one, much sturdier. If you look at the sides of these guys, you can see this whole big gap here, and this could very easily fall out. Or you could accidentally push down a little bit too hard and <laughs> it pops out of place. I mean, the arms move somewhat, bend at the elbow. But if you play with it too much, when the cut's not in the way, you can see, it falls apart. This is not meant for heavy play. Whereas the new one, much easier to move around, pose, move the arms. I mean, I know this is a versus review and you get to decide and you can tell me which one you think is better, but I'm leaning towards the new one. Despite the lack of the fancy electronics and noises. Now this button in the front here, when you press it, makes noises. That is the whole purpose of that button. This one doesn't work. Electronics are fried, sorry. So there they are, side by side. Now, I'm not saying that this is a bad toy, but it does use electronics and transmitters. And to be honest, at the time, you know, you might trick it to do the wrong thing. This thing tried to transform back into trailer. Then it said, oh wait, I have to go the other way. Went back into base and then into super mode. I almost forgot. So this little switch here on his shoulder makes the gun glow red. Now it's very hard to see because of all the light, but you can see in his fist here, when you press it, it turns red. And the transparent plastic, translucent plastic, does somewhat transmit that, but not under bright studio lights. Very hard to see. You kind of see a little bit there. But they're all cool. I'm glad that I have these, especially this yellow one that came with that really curve, cool version of Overload. I mean, this back, compared to this back, looks much better. And just the overall posability and the sturdiness of the new one, that's what I'm leaning towards. Thanks, Sky, for getting in the way again. They can kind of see. So there you have it, the original Armada Prime, who I normally keep 
pretty much in the regular robot mode, not the super robot mode, because this thing just looks eh. This one I may keep in the super robot mode because he looks much better, much sturdier, even though he seems to want to uh, do a split. What do you think? What do you think? Which one do you like better? So that is my versus review done just for you guys on the brand new Legacy Evolution Armada Prime versus the original Armada Prime. And while you are making your decision on which one's better and deciding which one you want to purchase, which of course there are links in the description, this guy is a leader class, so he's what, 80, 90, something. You'll see it. This guy, you got to look on eBay. There's also the PowerLinks version. There's all kinds of versions of this guy. But while you're deciding, you can check out this video over here where we compare the original Armada Megatron versus the Legacy Evolution Armada Megatron, right? And of course, like, share, subscribe. Super thanks would be wonderful, right? Because you need food. And as always, have fun and good hunting.